It's oh, the new shoot. year. Yeah. 2020. That rhymed. I'm totally ready for this. I know. I'm that a, rhymed. I'm a poet today. Was that on In purpose? Fact, no. Uh, no, it was not on purpose. Proud of you. But I'm, thank you. You did a good job. Sometimes I, I, sometimes out of the blue, the universe sends me really creative things. Yeah. And then I say them, and then <laughs> magic happens. Perfect. Um, and then there's sometimes times it. when I say things and I really want to just die on the spot. Do you say goofy stuff? Sometimes I say goofy stuff. I've never heard you do that. So you just heard me actually moments before we went live. I appreciate you saying that though. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited. It's yeah, our excited first show too. of the year. We are back. We are back. Mastermind is in chat. What's up? He says hi to both of us. Hello. Which is very nice. Thank you so much. If anyone else is in chat, be sure to say hello. Please. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, let's get started. Welcome to last week in gaming, guys. Uh, Woo! Yeah. Woo! Thank you so much. Woo! Yeah. That's right. Oh, we've got Fablin as well in chat there. Um, Fabian. Yeah. Fabian, I misread that. You I don't guess have your I, need, I don't have my glasses. I do have my contact. You my need a monocle. Contact, though. You have to get a monocle. I'm totally going to make a monocle a thing. Yeah, just on your eye. That's my new fashion statement going there, forward. There, did I do it? Am I doing it's it? It's the thing. Do I mean, I good? guess, yeah, it kind of does look okay, like that. Okay, yeah, you got to get a monocle. I'm going to get a monocle. Shaheen! It's, Shaheen's here. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Woo, Shaheen! <laughs> Perfect. Um, all right, let's get to the script. We're back after a two-week hiatus. I can't believe it was two weeks. Jeez. Uh, yeah, and we relaxed so hard. No, we I didn't. Know Actually, well, yeah, you're right. Actually. We did not. It was kind of busy. <laughs> yeah, we were nonstop. We did a lot of stuff, but in this, in the same sense, the we did nothing. In the same sense, we did nothing exactly. Um, I hope everyone tuning in today had yourselves a wonderful holiday and a chance to do exactly what we did. Uh, you're probably getting back into the swing of things yourself, so uh, we're going to take it as easy as possible today and throw a bunch of news your way and see how you do. But really, um, I saw a post on Reddit that talked about how. And I'm horribly paraphrasing this. Phrasing. Paraphrasing. Paraphrasing this, by the way. But uh, coming back from a long holiday break is like when you pause a video game during a boss fight to go eat lunch. And then when you come back to it, you get taken out in the first five seconds because your hand-eye coordination is all out of flux. And you forgot what you were doing. And I could totally relate to that. Isn't that right? Yeah. Somebody on, on Reddit said that much more eloquently than I did. But anyways, that was the general idea of what the, it was trying to get across. And I agree with it. Um, but I bet you're all just getting back into the swing, swing of things yourself. Um, so let me offer you a helping hand by catching you up on some of the news from this week. And yes, there was some news, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, speaking, uh, you know, it's like kind of the machine that never stops is mm -hmm. the gaming industry. And speaking of machines, our guest tonight has an IMDb page that never ends. Sam Witwer is joining us today. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how I feel about having a guest on here more handsome than I am. You're just gonna have to deal with it. I mean, I hope he's not. I hope he's not charismatic too, because then I'm gonna oh, be screwed. They're gonna be screwed. Shit. What are you gonna do? That's a dollar. Everyone's gonna have to be super nice to Kyle and just hype up his uh, his ego today. Chat. Yes, please. Thank just you. Just give him all the compliments in the world. I, they work I really Fabian. well on me. <laughs> yeah. Fabian. Fabian. Um, Fabian. <laughs> well, you're fabulous. I don't know the word. He's fab. fab, fab Fabulous. Fabulous. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, with Sam, Star Wars stuff, of course, because he's in the Star Wars universe. But he plays two characters in the Star Wars universe. Two? Yeah. At least. Force Unleashed. Yeah, I know that one. We've got, uh, what's Star Lord? Oh, Not Sarah, what's the name? Uh, Star Killer. Star Killer. Thank you for helping me with my brain. Today, it is. It is coming along. We're, we're it's making a thing. It's pooped a little bit. It's pooped a little bit. Um, but, and then, he, of course, he plays uh, Darth Maul. Really? In the Clone Wars. Yeah. Wow. So, two characters in the Star Wars universe. So, we're going to obviously be talking a lot about that. Um, but, yeah, get your questions ready if you guys are in chat right now. Uh, there you go. Love the Force Unleashed games. Exactly. There you go. Darth Maul. Thanks, Star Wars guy, <laughs> who's in chat with us today. Um, Does he know much about Star Wars? I'm guessing Star Wars guy knows a lot about Star Wars. Get your questions ready, guys. What do you think Especially about the most recent movie? Wait, hold on. Oh! Oh, yeah, I'm this ready. Is a, this is a good question. I'm ready to go already. I want Star Wars guy. <laughs> I want Star Wars guy to tell us what he thought of the movie, and I want him to give it an out of 10 score. Thank you. All right. What do you rate, my friend? Star Wars guy, let us know. All right, it's story time. Let's get to our main story. Look, he did it. He did it. He did it. We've got a little intro yeah. now. Isn't that fun? Oh, oh Alice. Yeah. Alice98 so says, good. hello, I'm new here. Hi. Alice, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Paul D12A. Perfect. A lot of people joining us right now. This is great. Um, so let's go on to our main stories. That was our little main stories intro. Thank you so much, Erwin. 
You're the greatest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. There will be Pokemon Gun or Pokemon Ultra Sword and Ultra Shield this year. No, instead, Nintendo and the Pokemon Company are releasing an expansion pass for the Switch games. Man, sometimes I forget how behind the times Nintendo can be with this stuff, but here we are, and the Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion passes sound pretty legit. Yeah. The first part is called the Isle of Armor, featuring a new island to explore Pokemon and even a dojo. Dojo. <laughs> the second part is named uh, the Crown Tundra, featuring snowy scenery and more Pokemon. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> and both parts will uh, collectively bring over 200 previous pocket monsters into Sword and Shield. The expansion will cost you 30 buckaroos with Isle of Armor arriving this summer, followed by the Crown Tundra in the fall. Woo! Made it through that first story. We did great. <laughs> oh my god. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. That was it. That's the show. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it takes some warming up. The gears are, are, are churning. They're trying to get, get the rust out. Anyways, my brain so that's is, what happens when you're off for two weeks. My brain is permanently rusted, so this is just my natural <laughs> oh. state. No, it, it is. Permanently rusted. Yeah, I appreciate right. it. Anyway. I'm going to call you rusty from now on. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, um, I bet someone at Sony asked a bigwig about hiring a graphic designer for the new PlayStation 5 logo. In response, Mr. or Mrs. Sony just said, why waste the money when we can just use the PS4 logo but slap on a 5 and then make that the new logo? Because that's basically what has happened, as highlighted by Kotaku. At CES, Sony unveiled the PS5 logo, <laughs> and you might need a double take to notice the 5 instead of the 4, but there you go, folks. Innovation at its finest. I like how they're like, all right, this is great. We need to reveal this. This is going to be epic. It's going to be so different. This is going to change. Change people's worldview. We've 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 worked in like corporate video games, America, and yes. we know for a fact there there was at least ten hours of meetings so about it. So much back and forth, and there was so many oh, hours at wasted. least ten hours, at least ten hours well, of meetings of meetings, and then there was like approvals, <laughs> and some designer had to send back and forth, and he's like, here's the the nine different variations of the five. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are okay with it. Anyway. And uh, it was just all the same thing. Hell yeah, oh Sony. Oh my gosh. Good job, Sony. We we're appreciate still, it. We're still angling for Microsoft to pay us money. Give us yeah, money. Give us money, Microsoft. We yeah. love you. Yeah. Yeah. We, we'll talk We'll talk bad stuff about Sony all day long. Sony's, <laughs> Sony, Sony's poo-poo. It's a bunch of poop. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying not to put more money in this know, right yeah. That is his goal for 2020. I actually, we do have it's Sony stuff. Resolution. Yeah. We do have, yeah, we do actually. We're going to be playing on the Sony probably later. So We do like Sony. Uh, <laughs> on the DL, Microsoft, you didn't hear that. All right. At this point, it feels like every month there's another report or rumor about a Nintendo Switch Pro, and the start of 2020 is no different. Pol go. Yeah, Polygon points to a... Taiwanese electronics newspaper called DigiTimes, which says a new Switch model might arrive in the middle of the year. The, hi uh, the highlights of this Switch are supposedly a magnesium alloy body and beefed up CPU. That's somewhat vague, though keep in mind we've heard about an upgraded Switch for a while now. I, for one, would, uh, yeah, I would love a better graphical pr uh, prowessness, I guess, for the power. <laughs> console. Power. Yeah. Power. Um, as that would mean more parts are possible for the device. <laughs> possible? Plus a uh, Prowess ports are possible, plus. Okay, sorry. I made it to the first three yeah. stories, and then I just went. Plus. Okay, I'm done. Uh, plus a true 1080p screen on the handheld would be a plus two. Oh. And one last important note, the new Switch should only be available in a Waluigi bundle, where his slender frame decorates the tablet, per se. Uh, but enough about me. Be sure to share what you'd like to see with a Switch Pro in the comments. Let's see you guys blowing up the chat box. Chat box. I see you guys. I see you, Alice. And Alice Lish says she wants a Switch Lite. Saying that's genius. Oh, a Switch Lite. Yeah. You can get those now. Yeah, those she's are just saying she you. wants one. You should get one. one. Yeah. You should definitely get one. All right, I don't know about you, but I feel like Mr. Freeze has put me on ice in regard to the next Batman game. Like, I feel like it's been teased and rumored forever, but still nothing official. Yeah, case in point, WB Games Montreal is once again alluding to a new game with a new image accompanied uh, by the text capture The Night. If this sounds familiar, it's because a similar hint from the studio arrived in September. So yeah. I think I wasn't alone in assuming we would have heard something more substantial by now about the next Batman game. So come on, guys and gals, enough with the Riddler games. And just put up the bat signal. 
Yeah, what are you guys looking for in the next Batman game? I really do want to know in chat. I'm so going to be just eyeing this WB channel right now. This twi this their Twitter account here, WB Games MTL, because I don't know. I don't know what they're teasing. Slash redacted. Uh, okay. the, isn't, it, isn't it the Court of Owls? Nothing this week. It's it's Friday. It's the end of the day on Friday and still nothing. Court of Owls, yeah, it seems like it. It's, I'm it's marketing people sometimes. I'm Just, marketing people sometimes. I, I mar I'm a marketer. I, I have know. A mar I have a marketing they degree. They had two back-to-back -back posts this week and Just, then nothing. You don't have to reinvent the wheel sometimes. Are they going to reveal something sometimes. tomorrow? Yeah. On a, on a weekend? Probably Monday. Maybe Monday? Yeah, Just probably seems Monday. Strange. Just a lot of hype. But anyways, I'm keeping an eye it's on it. It's doo-doo. It's doo-doo. Okay. That's what I want. Oh, so. Onyx wants a Batman Beyond game. I oh. like that idea. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Absolutely. A Batwing in the new game. I would uh, love that. Uh, Onyx, yes, please. Onyx reminds me that I really hope that the new Batman movie coming out is Robert Pattinson is Terry McGinnis. Ooh, I want that. would be nice. And I, aren't they bringing back Michael Keaton? Yeah. So that would like I check out. You got old movie. Batman and Terry McGinnis. Ooh. and. And yeah, it's perfect. Exactly. It needs to be. Saucy. As long as they keep the intro music. Yeah, anyway. the intro music needs to stay. Okay, uh, I'm going to roll it. Let me know uh, in the comments. Right. Blah, 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 yeah, blah. let us know in the comments what you guys think, but I've already seen some wonderful comments. I appreciate you guys being here today. It is our first show back, so we really Look at the really comments section. Really. I know, it's popping right now. Yeah. I totally agree, Kyle. I do do. Patterson is Batman Beyond. Mastermind Evan, he's really cool. <laughs> he showed up in chat a bunch of times. He has, yeah. Plays Alfred in the bat suit. Jeez. Okay, All I would right. love that. Okay. I'll play Alfred. Alfred, you'll be Alfred. Oh, I, I, I like doing okay, I misunderstood. chores. <laughs> yeah, you do. You're a chores person. I'll be like, what do you want, handsome man? Yes, I will do that for you. What? Okay. <laughs> well, because if I'm Alfred, I'm talking to Batman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Where was the confusion? I just, you just totally threw me off. I was like, what do you want, handsome man? Yes, I'll do that. <laughs> That's a good point. What the? F <laughs> Where is this going? It's going where it's going today. <laughs> uh, Lishmob says, this is my first time here. I came for Sam, LOL. Good choice. Uh, this is great. This is great. He's not here yet, but he's on his way. LA traffic and all. Um, all right. Apex Legends was in the news this week. Yes, it's getting all guzzied up to start off the new year. In fact, Pathfinder wants to formally invite you to the Grand Soiree. Yeah. Arcade event. I don't, I don't know, know anything about British. this. Um, which will begin January 14th, a day after my birthday. Oh! Yay! It's like my birthday. Naomi's it's birthday. Like it extends the day. She's turning 21. Yay! Yeah. Forever 21. And will include seven different rotating modes. Yes, indeed. I gotta say that the third person mode and always be uh, closing and always be closing, where the ring constantly moves, have caught my one Pathfinder eye. Hold up, seven, seven modes? Yeah. Really? A lot uh, of modes. Look at these skins. I know. What They're the, all I miss coming this. to Apex Legends. I miss this entirely. Okay. I goofed. BMIG says third person mode. I'm so reinstalling Apex Legends. Yeah. yeah. Good okay. job. As okay. you should. Or is it a visor? Wait, uh, wait, or is it a visor? Yeah. I don't know what Pathfinder's eye is. It is a visor or a screen. Either way, like they both sound really fascinating, especially the third person perspective. So um, yeah, I'm so curious to see how that mixes up things in the Battle Royale game with the dopest, dropest. Music <laughs> there is. The dopest drop music out there, there is go. what it's been. Um, oh, and of course, there will be new cosmetics for the event as well. Hell so yeah. Take everyone's my money. happy. Eyeshadow? Oh, definitely. I, I would that say was a real eyeshadow. boomer joke. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. I almost said the joke, but I stopped. All right, you take it back. Eyeshadow. It was a okay. dad joke, there probably. It, it was a great joke. It was a great joke. I, I approve that joke. Um, <laughs> on that uppity note, That's a good, I guess, yeah, I wrote I was, that line. I was very uppity, too. It was uppity. Okay. All right. On that uppity note, it's time to watch Kyle crush, nay, slay yeah. these Rocket League This goals. is definitely my most mediocre plays of the week. Oh, you saw this, it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely most mediocre. Well, it's going to be so mediocrely entertaining. Very mediocre. All right, all right. Let's roll it. Yeah, check out these Rocket League goals by Kyle. Wow. <laughs> 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 there we go. There we go. That's a start. There we go. 23 seconds. Good job. Let's do it. Nice hit. That's gorgeous. I thought good. Oh. That's beautiful. <laughs> Good job, my dude. Good teamwork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that f***ing curve, too. Put it in, put it in. Wow. Oh, my God. What a touch, dude. What a touch. What in the hell was that? 
<laughs> Dude, you dirty dog. You dirty dog. Oh, 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 Wow. Oh, you love wow. it. Oh, oh, you love it. Oh, you love it. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. That A. Oh! Good. Oh, my God. Oh, good job, dude. Oh. Nasty, man. That little boob just to get it up and just to finish it. <laughs> Way to be there. Way to be there. Yeah, that was, nice to be able to have a goal. Nice job, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. There you go. Yes! Yeah, good job, dude. Oh, that was good. Good. good job, dude. That was so f***ing painful. I was waiting. God. Wow. Really? Oh, watch this, You, like, pumped it in, dude. Hey, were you, like, floating? Check this out. I'm gonna watch side angle. Oh, you dirty man. Man. <laughs> you dirty man. Look at that. I love that game. Isn't Rocket League great? I Onyx also game. says that he loves that game, or he, she, I'm not sure. I love uh, that game. But that they game. suck at it. Uh, I really like it. Oh, Ray, game. it's actually that, that one I'm using. I, I have like a, it's like an exotic one or whatever, or black market. I don't know the rankings in it, but that one's my favorite. All gold. Uh, but yeah, no, Rocket League's amazing. It's so I fun. I love Rocket League. It's so fun. And you can like hop in and hop out, and it's not a big deal. Like, yeah, it but it's just so addicting. I just never, yeah. I just never want to stop playing. Yeah. It's just really good right now. And that, but I made a lot of cool like goals, like aerial goals, but they were just so so mediocre, just straight on like, boop, oh. And well, because you have to boop. compare it to the people who are at that top level, yeah. like flying yeah. basically and have control of the ball the whole way through. I'm it's not incredible. That. I'm yeah, people not are that. so good. They're so good. All right, more stories today, folks. Are you ready? I am ready. I see you guys in chat, and you are ready. All right. A new year obviously means new games for Xbox Game Pass. Duh. And Microsoft is starting things off with a banger. Honestly, you could call this the banger, since it's one of the best-selling games of all time. That's right. Grand Theft Auto V is now what? available on Xbox Pass for console for what? free. It's crazy. That is crazy. Um, and if you have a gold subscription, you can also jump into GTA Online and commit virtual crimes with your friends. I love crime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most movies are about crime. Is that what you mean? I love it. The, just I, I know I've really... What? what? They have a lightsaber. Yes. Okay. This I is love another game we're we about get. to talk about, but you're not. Oh, jumping. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, <laughs> it's go, go. all good. All in all, uh, it's just sort of uh, wild how this game is originally released in 2013 on last generation consoles and is still so freaking popular. I know. It's insane. It just never ends. Uh, but that's not all. The Game Pass front for console, this is what I was talking about, Frostpunk and Sword Art Online, Fatal Bullet, have also been added. I also thought it was said Fatal Ballet, which I thought would be a really cool premise for yeah, a video game. Yeah, Fatal Bullet. Like a ballet dancer who's just the wor like the biggest killer on the planet. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do, do they kill idea. them? Do they kill people <laughs> with their dance moves? Maybe they kill people with their their pointy toes. Ballet ballet dancers are jacked. They're jacked. They're also terrifying because they're so good at what they do. Uh, there was another po point about tech in there. I think <laughs> I missed it. Anyways, tech also added on the way next tech week. Tech seven on the way Perfect. next week. All right, let's finish that story. Speaking of Microsoft, Sea of Thieves made landfall on a major milestone. Ten million pirates have danced, puked and commandeered ships in the rare developed game. It's quite the accomplishment for the studio. You may even say they steered the ship around after last decade started with uh, Connect Sports Games. But now, Sea of Thieves is making waves and Everwild is on the horizon. This is really cool because I do agree that Sea of Thieves started off rough, but they're really still rough. crushing it. Yeah. I don't know. I guess they really did a good job fixing it right off the bat. I start, tried to play it the first day it launched, and but, then I uh, gave up. Yeah, and then we just didn't try after that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm not playing this game. You lost me. Yeah. But I, I feel terrible for having such a short fuse. I should have given it a better chance, apparently. It's a good game. Yeah. Um, all right. You know, last time we chatted before the holidays, I mentioned that the Witcher series on Netflix wasn't receiving the kindest reviews. In fact, some critics thought the show was roach poop. Yep. Thanks, Seven, for that one. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but audiences must have thought differently because The Witcher seems pretty dang popular now. So much so, in fact, that the love spread back to The Witcher 3. Get this. Game of Sutra reports the game hit a record high player count. Just years after the game came out, it, with 100,000 people hanging out to play Geralt and Roach on Steam, previously the peak for The Witcher 3 was 90,000. So wow. 
Yeah, it wow. actually re like brought the game yeah. back to popularity and yeah. peaked. It actually surpassed the original player count, which is insane. So, so facto, uh, the Witcher show definitely landed with a big audience, and now the game is reaping the coin rewards. Toss the coin to your Witcher. I forget how it goes. Does it go like that? <laughs> <laughs> How does it go again? No, Remind me. We I'm need not, to sing the song on stream it. today. I'm not singing it. No, but that would. You tried. Toss a coin to. I forget the melody. You should sing, I it, you should it, sing it to the tune of I'm in love with the stripper. See, it sticks to. No. Toss a coin to your witcher. No, it's no. not even that. No, it's not. It's not even that. No. I need. I, I'm I in seriously love need with to watch it. Nope, it's not that one. It is. It's definitely not that one. Okay. So I definitely looked it up online today, and it does not stick to me like other people. Like, like everyone says it's stuck in their head, it's not sticking to me. I don't know why. Everyone All loves right. my singing. Great. So yeah, let's hear more Kyle singing. Actually, <laughs> guys, we need some Kyle compliments today. Yeah, I we need explain it. Explain to you why that is. All right. If you haven't heard Australia, oh, this is a bit of a sadder story. Yeah, if you haven't heard. <laughs> no, I know. Everyone has heard this. Australia is facing devastating bushfires that have led to human and animal deaths, as well as displacing thousands of people. So in response, Ubisoft Australia on Twitter announced that it has donated $30,000 to the Australian Red Cross Disaster and Relief Recovery Fund. I also want to add that uh, you too can contribute to help fight against this tragedy. I, it's really actually affected me very much harder than I thought it would. Because um, of the animals. Because of the animals. Everything that's going on there seems devastating. All the footage that we're seeing from people posting all the devastation going on really hits home for me um, and makes me really uh, heartbroken. So anyways, uh, you know, I decided to donate as well to a few, a few rural uh, fire services such as the CFA. Uh, these are loc local fire brigades uh, that are still fighting off fires as we speak. I also uh, made a donation to the Australian uh, Wires Wildlife Rescue Organization. Um, it's reported that an estimated one billion Possibly more uh, animals have perished in Australia, and it's got me really sad. And so I decided to donate to those organizations, and you can too. Basically, I just wanted to offer this bit of news, but also kind of, uh, you know, entice you guys if you haven't yet uh, to donate, because it's still much needed. The help there, the help goes a long way, and even if it's just a dollar or. Whatever, your three bucks of coffee to go that you buy every day, um, even that little bit amount helps. So see if you can. And that's my story about Australia. You did good. I'm going to cry now. Naomi's it's so sad. Naomi's I, I very sensitive. It. Yeah, I'm proud of you for not crying during that. <sighs> yeah, the poor koala bear. I mean, everything. All the animals who have uh, perished, and even you know people who've lost their homes. People are still fighting these fires because there's still threat of fire hitting anyone, anything that's in its path. So I really just want people to be aware and to also offer that bit of news that Ubisoft, you know, was kind enough to offer 30. I'm glad that there's some gaming folks doing stuff because we're seeing a lot of celebrities doing it. Not so much in the gaming world, so props to Ubisoft for doing that. Yeah. I super appreciate it. All right, positive. Positive. Back to some news, guys. All right, grab some popcorn because you need to sit back and watch this mesmerizing, that's right, mesmerizing, League of Legends trailer. I'm going into 2020 with that Lux energy. Uh, I might not be able to levitate like her at the end, but I'm for sure going to kick ass like she's about to in that awesome season 2020 cinematic. I just realized I swore. Yeah. Because of Evan. Yeah. It's all your fault, Evan. Uh, Send me your buck. I'll but my, put it in. But my boy Garen is in this. So, oh, Garen's yeah. in here. All right. Um, so let's have a look at that a trailer right now uh, because we can and because it's straight up awesome. So take a look.
That was cool. That was really that was really something. Pretty great. I love it. What did you think? I love it. It's more than pretty great. It's I love dope. It. That's right. Mastermind. I love it. It's also uh, somebody who wrote Han Hans Zimmer. Did he score this? Yeah. Body Digital. That's funny. I mean, it, it is epic what they're able to do with these cinematics. I love writing. And you're such a fan. I'm such a you're fan. You're the in-house LOL expert, so we're going to touch base on what we just saw a little later in our discussion. Oh, OK. Piece. So I won't. I was just uh, Or keep you it. can say what no, you want cool. now. No, it's cool. Totally Let's, good. I can wait it's it. all part wait. of the conversation. Yeah. And the music is everything. Yeah, this is more like a preview, guys. But mm. also an announce on the news. All right. <laughs> Arcade 1UP is heating up with one of its next retro arcade cabinets. At CES, the company announced an NBA Jam cabinet, according to IGN, that will feature the original 2v2 basketball game along with NBA Jam Tournament Edition and NBA, NBA Hang Time. And for the boom shakalaka, there is online <laughs> functionality. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay? I love it. You just said it so Evan's straight. Evan's a genius. And for the boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Uh, that means you can see if <laughs> you really are uh, the best of the game. It's true. Or more likely, you just thought you were uh, an eight-year-old because you could beat up a uh, CPU. What? I don't know. It was Evan's joke. <laughs> Someone was drinking. <laughs> All right. If you're looking for a new adventure game, Annapurna has announced Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition will hit PS4. Oh, it's, <laughs> I, I read that wrong. Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition okay. will hit PS4, Xbox One, and Switch on January 28th. And for you peeps who were uh, enruptured, enraptured. enraptured, I should say, not ruptured, uh, by the first four acts on PC. This is also when Act 5 will launch. Seriously. I've never played Kentucky Road Zero, but there definitely are diehard fans, so it's something to keep an eye out on as the story comes to a close, and more people will be available to buy it, or for more people. And what? It will be available to buy it with the console release? Yeah, more people will be able to buy it with the release of <laughs> Sorry, my it's brain okay. today is still picking up pigs. What? We're I almost love that. there. I was like, what? what's going on? What am I reading? I thought, anyways, it was very strange. Um, all right, and that's it. That's it for the news. Do Grab I get to be rolls. angry? Now you get to be angry in a bit. About yeah, we're going to be Wars. talking about Star Wars. Uh, but actually, before we do that, uh, let's head over to a quick look at my Let's Play. Um, Oh, okay. Oh, actually, okay. I was no, 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 going to say a I, bunch I of stuff, down. but That's it was cool. a great day for news. I mean, a week, a good week, given that it's the first week of 2020. We got Batman news, Apex Legends. What else? We got that Lowell cinematic. It's crazy. People are, n there is no breaking anymore. No, I mean, it well, it, the, the gaming industry the is massive. Things. So yeah. it's like. It never ends. No. It's like the machine that never ends, like I said earlier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, let's uh, now head over to a, before we get to our discussion portion, let's take a look at my first playthrough of Control. I played it for the first time. That game is something special, so have a look. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back with our discussion. So stay tuned, you lovely guests. And uh, we'll have Sam Whitwer in a second here uh, joining us. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and enjoy this look at my uh, Control playthrough and some of my thoughts. Hey, Naomi <laughs> in the studio. It's Naomi at home. I am so excited. My first game of 2020 is going to be a game that was actually really cool and very popular in 2019. It was a hit. It's called Control, and I'm about to check it out. And I haven't played much of it yet, and it's looking pretty intense. So uh, let's see what happens. Da, 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 da. Playing on PC. This is great. The oldest house. We are in the oldest house. Whoa. Hold up. Who's that human? Okay, that looks cool. I just turned it to dust. Can I use this gun right now? Whoa, trippy, trippy, hey. trippy. I guess this is kind of the tutorial, so I played, uh, gone through the bureau. What? Okay. These are not one-hit zombies. Okay. Service weapon regenerates ammunition. Uh, lovely. I don't need to reload. This is good. Headsets do, do, do more damage. Whoa. <laughs> they don't have necks. This is weird. Where'd their necks go? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I guess it's just how they walk. Sometimes they uh, retract their necks. They're like turtles. Little turtles. Not creepy at all. <laughs> the feeling in me right now is uh, pretty intense. It's got a little bit of a. Did you hear that? Blade Runner. It's vibe. the dead man. 
right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy I'm happy to be here is it safe to go I don't know I guess oh, okay I guess you know if you're still happy in this situation that's kind of weird That looks like live footage. was horrible. Yep, yep. My aiming there was a little, uh, not so great. What is happening? This is so trippy. I am a little freaked out. This is where I was earlier and didn't show you guys, but welcome to the bureau. The madhouse. The mad, the... Hold up. Whoa. The hotline. The heck are these people doing floating around? Why? Okay. I'm a little taken aback by this madness here. Enemies drop health elements when damage. Collect health elements. Ooh, 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 ooh. I need me some health, please. I do need some health. I need to survive. Oh, it's these little blue crystal-like little dots on the screen. Very cool. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Yes, burrowing into everything in this place. Oh, I couldn't really see what that was, but I guess it was a radio. And if you're in the mood for some country right now, got the perfect station for you. No imminent threat at the moment. Maybe I need to jump out from here. Okay. Whoa, bureau is not a good place. I don't like it. Brutal. Okay, I need some help. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, let's try that again. Try not to get killed this time, Naomi. Just go in fast. Let's get our health points. Oh, he's got armor, this guy. More health points, more health points. Let's get them crystals. Them little tiny dots. I'm not sure what this is doing to me psychologically, but I'm going crazy! What does that mean? Nothing it's makes sense. Not much is is explained, but I'm starting to get a handle. It looks like some uh, agents were compromised in a very supernatural kind of way. Got to look for the intercom, which might be somewhere not here. Okay, let's go back. Speak with the voice on the safe room intercom. Safe room intercom. Okay. Sh oh, safe room. Here you go. It looks like a safe room to me. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? This mystery is amazing! He keeps appearing to me, saying things. He told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. I can try. 
I'm speaking for you, of course. All their false, false lashes are uh, pretty incredible, and I wish I had them. Okay, wow. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. This is a bad infection, folks. This is bad news bears. Okay. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Let's go looking for the hotline. I can see where they want me to go. <laughs> Oh, this is not a place to go to. Okay. <laughs> Let's restart that. Try once more. It's heading into the communications department. Which is this way. Do not go towards what is red and really bad for me. Will kill me. Holy cow. They are uh, blowing things up here. All right. I'd like a burger and hot dogs, please. Whew. Oh, these are demons. These are demon possessed. Oh, 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 this guy, this guy. Oh God, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo, I'm out of ammo. I am recharging, recharging. Oh, darn it. I didn't collect my health pearls. I'm gonna call the pearls now. God, you move fast, bro. Okay, doing all right, doing all right. Gonna get my health pearls and... Okay, getting somewhere. Oh, trippy. Looks like alternate dimension stuff. Reminds me of Fringe. Does everyone remember the, ga the TV show Fringe? Communications are on the right track. An object of power. Whoa, whoa, bro. It's the forbidden disc. The forbidden floppy disc. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Oh, really? Yes. Now the fun begins, everybody. Oh, I almost fell down. Let's not repeat what I did last time, folks. I was hearing a guy shooting over there. I guess uh, maybe he took cover. Oh, he did. Haha. Uh -huh. Smart cookie. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Not so sure. I love that. It's like a really intense movie. Oh god. Proceeding to the communications department, which we did. That's locked. This must open the door. Oh boy. <laughs> I just messed up all my makeup. <gasps> Holy cow! Great. I think we're in a boss fight, people. Where is he? Oh, he got me so good. <laughs> I was not prepared for that boss fight, folks. I was not prepared. Once we're done this boss fight, we're calling it good. One hour later. Let's do it again. Let's kill this bad boy. So I guess shooting him's the only way really to bring him down. Yeah, shooting him's definitely the way to go. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Ah! Someone's here. Oh boy, okay. Whoops, it like really hit me there. So uh, I'm pretty low on health right now. Oh, he can break that wall. That is a concrete wall. He can break that. Oh! I got hit by one of the minions. Let's try again. One more time, shall we? Once I beat this baddie, we're done. 
We are done. Ooh, I don't think I got a shot. I missed all those shots. That pillar is saving me right now. I got him, I got him. Couple more hits. He's down, he's down. Woo! Got it. Wait. Maybe I didn't get him? Oh, dude. I was so close. I have a feeling he'll be back. Yep. So do I. All right, guys. That's about where I'm going to wrap it up because there's obviously a lot more to figure out in this game and uh, maybe we'll do part two next week. But uh, check out the game Control. It's got total Stranger Things vibes. I'll see you guys in the studio. Bye. Hello and welcome back to our Baby Yoda Ooh. chat. <laughs> this is Thank Baby Yoda talk. We're, yeah, we're going to be talking Baby Yoda for pretty much the whole Sam 15 just brought minutes. me this. I'm really, well, not me, okay. us, but I'm really excited about this. Up, it's really up, good. Up, up, up. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, you yeah, go. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, our yeah, face. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Close yeah, your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, so tell us what that is, Kyle. Well, it's uh, Dungeons and Dragons art in Ankana, visual history. Uh, yeah. Very exciting. You know I love art books. Yes. We have so many of these this at home. This is an epic art book. I haven't had a chance to see it. I'm seeing yeah. it for the first time. We both are. Uh, but Sam brought this in with us. He's Who's in the here? studio right He's now. He's in the room over there off camera. Yeah. Perfect. But uh, you you need to do a Facebook Live thing, right? I do. So I wanted to do an Instagram here. story. Uh, well, once Sam comes on in 15 Oh, okay. We'll do. Uh, yeah. But we want to get people to get hyped because we're going to be talking about Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, so you wanted to touch on this book first? No, I just wanted to say else? how just excited I'm about, about this. Okay. Yeah, I love our books. Yeah, actually, Sam was really great. He and he wrote us, it. He's, so it. he's he, one of the writers. He's one of the writers it. with his brother. That's awesome. As well That's as so uh, Kyle Newman, John Peterson. His brother's name is Michael Whitwer. That's cool. And so that's a yeah, full on. Book. And, We're going to be talking about that. Uh, my plan this year is to play way more D&D, and I eventually want to be a dungeon master. Ooh, so. this is the way. I like writing stories, and I like making voices. Sounds this like perfect, This is the way. Right? I love that. Um, Sam also brought in Days Gone, which, as you know, he is the star and uh, lead of the entire game, which is amazing. Bunch of music. We're going to be playing a little bit of it later, and a bunch of music from his band, The Crash Tones. Closer to your face. Why, and as you why are you laughing see, at me? Closer to your face. What? I can't get the angle on this right now. Okay, there you perfect. go. Um, perfect. Perfect. And this is a whole a vinyl. Holy cow. A vinyl. A vinyl. I love vinyl. All right, but I'm we've got some stuff to talk machine. about. Did you we want me to talk stuff. about the League of Legends? I did want to talk about League with you. Um, I want to talk about our Christmas break briefly. Okay. What did you play? Uh, Rocket League, Minecraft, Witcher 3. And you got back on Witcher 3? I did, because yes. Because of the show? Yes. Okay. Well, I had, had played, you played before? Yeah, I played it. I'd put like probably like five or six hours into it before, and then I'd stepped away. And I'd saved at a part that was really hard, mm -hmm. and I came back, and I was just getting my teeth kicked in, just oh, constantly. Right. I didn't just know how like to play. Just like what I described. Exactly. The start of the show. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know uh, how to beat it, so I just yeah. stopped playing, and I ended up playing other stuff. But after the show, I went and watched it, and Restarted came back, and I'm like, start. I gotta play it. Yeah. And it still holds up, right? Oh, yeah. That's crazy that 100,000 people tune are playing it, versus the 90,000, which was the peak. At the time when the game came out, yeah, 2015. So well, it's crazy what a show. Well, I mean, it, a lot of it has real. to do with like the 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 fandom right now. Well, obviously the show is really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, but Henry Cavill's like actual Reddit loves him right now. I know. And he did that video today. Did you see that? I on did Instagram? see that video. And I he's saw just that. like British and talking. Just and he's handsome like and charming and, and like and just really just into the subject so matter. So into it and it's just lovely. And thank you so much for I'm watching. I'm mad at him. <laughs> He's, You're mad he's, at him. He's too handsome. <laughs> he's too handsome. He's too handsome. Um, I'm mad at him about it. Well, that's good. So, all in all, holiday break a success. We did some snowboarding. We, we did some Canada. snowboarding. We were also. In I thought I broke my arm at one point. You did. Remember when I fell on the ice and you came over? Oh, and you were really I thought worried. you had fractured your. I was like holding yeah. my arm and she's like in my space. I was like, and she's are like, you are you good? I'm like, okay. give me some space, please. I'm, I'm really, I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm in pain. It was bad, it's but. Okay. Um, you're just like you're your noob, right? Noob level? No, I'm just no, kidding. You're pretty good. Pretty it's good actually it, yeah. really good. I got good at it. He's improved. Um, but yeah, we did a lot of snowboarding and we hung out um, in a really nice Ate a lot of poutine. resort. In a like not a resort per se. It's not like, in, but it's by a lake and it was like there was like a. Let's talk about the Star Wars movie. I gotta get okay, it out. Okay, we need to get it out. I gotta get it out. Well, okay, so we're gonna skip Mandalorian then. No, let's talk about the Mandalorian. Okay, <laughs> well Mandalorian, you we finished it. We yeah, finished the series. I liked it. I I only saw the final episode. I am I totally just you skipped, skipped all through of it, everything. Yeah. I followed what you were telling. Us I showed on you the all the baby Yoda scenes. And then I just 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much all what you need. What did you think of the ending? I thought it was great. I really liked. Uh, I really liked the spoiler tease. warning for anybody oh, yeah. who hasn't seen it. Spoiler, like I'm going in deep. I'm sorry. I really liked. Um, We're definitely going I, into spoilers today for Star Wars, so keep. Uh, keep tabs on that if you need to stop watching them. the actor who was in Breaking Bad uh, Gus yeah. right? that was yeah. the name of the character yeah. he's um, amazing in everything yeah but I love the fact that he plays bad guys that just do not fuck around oh no no oh, that's uh, a swear oh, word <laughs> okay oh I just did oh, the second speaking one speaking of that speaking of that oh it's for your dad I do need to do this for my father he's a fan of the show shout and out to watches. Mark Beaudoin yeah, my father watching. Um, so he uh, gave us a five dollar Canadian dollar to make up for Kyle's money so and thank we, you dad for that. And we got some... Shout out to you. And then I matched it with another $5 Canadian dollar. Yeah. Which is so weird. These things don't cripple up. I don't understand what this money is. It's plastic. It's plastic. Oh my god. Are Anyways. You Canadians and your monopoly money. That's why you can afford health care. It's not real money. It's not real money. We just counterfeit it the can whole time. Can I for just a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. One of these is Palpatine. No oh, way. Get no, the sort of, sort of. Sort of? Yeah, yeah a little bit. There's I'd say guy, it's true. There's another Canadian, because I, you know, Lived in Canada for a little bit, and it's totally Palpatine. Anyway, go. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> totally is. Oh, All shoot. right, so we got Palpatine money in here. We're good. Also, speaking of Star Wars, okay. So Mandalorian was great. I mean, good. it had its ups and downs, but overall, I would give it like an eight and a half, probably, okay. out of ten. I, like, there were some episodes that were a little weak. Yeah, um, fell the, by the way. The end was great. The dark saber was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, when that thing came out, I just immediately <gasps> went down. Excited. I went down the the the. What the, is that? We're pulling up something Holy on the screen. Holy crap. Palpatine money. I, it looked like you were pulling up some Spock money there. Yeah. Was that Spock? You can make a five into Spock, says Johnny Digital. That that's awesome. That is so weird. Okay. Anyways, that's good. That's good to hear that Mandalorian's great. If Baby Yoda wasn't in it, what would you rate the show? That's oh. still really good. Well, uh, I mean, you couldn't have the show without Baby Yoda, though. I just, he he softens uh, Mandalorian. Yeah. I also really love, uh, 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 I wanted to say Pablo, Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal's amazing Fantastic. in it. Fantastic. Oh, in, in the finale, Narcos. we finally see his face. See his face. Spoilers, guys. We we warned you. We all know we it's not yet. actually Yoda. Yeah, we all know it's not. We know it's not Yoda. Yoda. Anyway, Mandalorian is great. The Star Wars movie, however, was not great. Okay, so let's go into that. The Rise of Skywalker. It was just so. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. There. Can we show the? Can we the show Palpatine the dollar? dollar? The Palpatine dollar. You're so right. Yeah. You are so right. There was someone had like scribbled over it. That straight up looks like Palpatine. For years. There we go. Years. I had no it's idea. It's on screen right now, right? Yeah. Just give him a hood. Give him a quick hood. And some more wrinkles, I think. Uh, some glowing eyes. Yeah, I yeah. think. Anyway, the 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 movie. Yeah, good good stuff. We just the saw the movie. It. We just saw we saw it last night, both of us. Um, and the consensus is, what are your thoughts, Kyle? I I also felt like I couldn't connect to the story as much, and I loved maybe like 15 minutes of the movie, which was near like three quarters Ooh, of the spicy. way in. And then everything else just kind of fell by the wayside again. But it was like a good 15 minute, like a 15 minute chunk where I was like, "Yeah, it we're was, hitting our stride. Let's keep this going." It was all spectacle, no substance. Like it's all just like, "Wow, look at this crazy stuff. We, we've got a big budget, and then yes. well, we're this, gonna fit it all in in a movie." One and of like, my critiques is this. Oh, not critiques, rather praises is the set pieces were incredible. Mm -hmm. There were some amazing shots, like especially like that shot. Again, we're getting into spoilers here, but um, where Ray's running towards. Palpatine to finally confront him, yeah. and uh, there's that one. She's just like in this very, looks like a very, um, oh, like Sorry. a straight line. <laughs> Anyways, the set pieces are incredible, but yeah, I agree. There was some stuff that could have the uh, pacing was been really just. It, a lot was overlooked. I, I think if they weren't trying to retcon so much yeah. so bad, the pacing would have been good. But it was just so much shit that was being They were just throwing it. everything at once. And I'm yeah. like, there's no, you're not spending time with anybody. Like, I wanted yeah. more time with Leia. I mean, she, she passes away, and it was just like it was like this thing that was like, oh, by the way, this happened. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Yeah, I, I feel like that was, uh, just broke my heart a little bit. I love Babu Frick. Though. Babu Frick is also <laughs> great. Yeah, Babu. It's the battle between Babu Frick and Baby Yoda now. I would love to see like, them hang out. Like I don't out. know. Oh, those uh, two in a whole. Sh let's just make a whole show about those two guys. But but out. the pacing. <laughs> there was just too much being jammed in. Yeah. There was so much retconning going on. Yeah. Uh, the acting obviously was phenomenal. Yes. And and the visuals were really great but like nothing mattered every uh, the stakes were so high but it didn't actually matter because 
Oh, oh, did the one thing disappear or you lose it or it got destroyed? Cool, there's a backup. Which one am I talking about? Doesn't matter. It applies to everything. Yeah. It's, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. It just, it just nothing, it felt like nothing was at risk. It's true. It made Stakes me really smart. mad. Yeah, and then they were running with their, their well, I don't know what the animals were, but they were oh, running yeah. on the ship with their animal The space herd, horses. And that seemed a little strange. Um, I don't know. It just felt like there were some things that, I'd love to didn't see that. make sense, and then I also didn't like that uh, we saw um, the return of Harrison Ford's character. Yeah, I. Because like why? And also they made him look younger. Why did they do that? They didn't need to do that to Harrison Ford. Why was Kelly Marine Tran's character why like? Why was Han Solo made to look younger? She had a whole story arc, and I I literally could go on forever about this. This uh, is great. We're killing. Can we time. see chat? Can we, we got see five, chat? More, oh, five more minutes. No, we're playing the clip. Oh, oh we're okay. It'll stop it. The, okay. the trailer. Yeah, this was the second. I believe the second or the final trailer when they release the final trailer before the movie. I just, and then Luke's but, ghost comes out, but yeah. you can actually catch oh, stuff. Oh, I didn't like the Luke ghost portion. I felt that was a little cheesy. And Because he like follows her everywhere, and now he can lift a whole ship from the ocean. Oh, you destroyed, I, the, it just, I was you like, destroyed wow. your X-Wing? Oh, just kidding. No, you just destroyed kidding. your TIE fighter. It's cool, this it's one still, still works. It's still good. <laughs> it just, it just nothing, nothing mattered. Yeah. It just was just a testament to how much can we spend on special effects? Yeah. I just felt they were, they needed to take more time with it. It was too quick. So yeah, I don't know. There's, I'm like looking at it now. I'm just. I know, but incredible set pieces. Like, yeah, ugh. some of the visuals are incredible. There we go. We're on camera. I'd love to see chat. Yep. The chat's yep. just gonna be a bunch of Let's like. Let's get Screw chat. You! We loved it. <laughs> You're an idiot. Fan service galore. I agree with that. That yeah. was a high, the big critique of a lot of reviewers actually. Should have been three hours. I feel like, yeah, it just there needed more pacing, like time with all these very huge moments that just seemed like they were there and then gone. Um, I'll be rewatching episodes. Oh yeah, that's good. Disney Plus. That scene with Han probably supposed to carry. That's a good point. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I, I, I legitimately know. laughed at the. <laughs> You're not a nobody. You're a Palpatine. I know. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my heart sunk a little bit at Please. that scene. I like the idea more that she was just a nobody. Like that Me was too. That's like cool. a nobody badass is totally reminiscent of Anakin. Palpatine died too fast. True. True, true, true. Same These are Kyle. some great critiques, my friends. Anyway, I'm Bring trying not on. to be. I'm, Nerd I'm, rage, <laughs> Johnny Digital. Um, but what that, else? there you go. Okay, what else? League of Legends. On oh, that's note, really That was incredible. Good job, League of Legends. Yeah, yeah, What did yeah. you think as a fan? I mean, that must have been really cool to have been I up love to that. all of their cinematics. Like, their cinematics are amazing. Yeah. Uh, it, they need to make just a show. I don't remember if they announced that, but and anything with Garen in it, I love. Mm -hmm. uh, Garen and Lux. But the new season's really good. I started playing today, got a bunch of wins in, which was really Ooh. nice. They absolutely just have a direct line into my wallet, though. <laughs> You're going to be spending lots of dollars with them. I looked at how much money I spent is like in the thousands. What? In League of Legends, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, the, fr the, the free-to-play model was perfected by, Le by League, so. It's true. I mean, they're, they're compared. It's free now, is it? I know, uh, yeah. I know, yeah. yeah. But I'm okay, because I'm not like a, I don't like go out for drinks, and I don't like go to sporting events, so I'm like, This oh, is how you spend your money yeah. on your free time. Yeah, I'm like, cool. It's totally valid. I'll spend $25 and buy myself a bunch of skins and do it yeah. for the month, like, it doesn't bug me. And it's not a sunk cost per se, because you get to see it every I, day. Yeah. So, there you go, good investment. I love it. I love, I love it. the energy of, like, everything that went on in this The whole cinematic. thing is just really good. And the, the storyline, if you know the character, is that that's Lux and Garen, and they're fighting Silas, who they imprisoned, and he escaped, and he rebelled. But Lux kind of helped him escape by accident. Um, his, his whole thing is he steals ultimate abilities. So when he's walking up with the glowing sword in hand, which I think is happening here soon, it's Garen. That's Ooh, Garen's ability, yeah. So good. This is really cool. I just love their character design so much. I want to cosplay every single League of Legends character. Well, female ones. It's not mansplaining ones. if I'm explaining something that she didn't know. That's right, Correct. guys. I'm not a lol <laughs> connoisseur Kyle's by any means. Yeah, but it's Kyle's play. I am able to appreciate the art, and I appreciate you explaining it, actually. Yeah. Because I, I do... The more you talk about this game, the more I'm like, oh, maybe I should play it. <laughs> it's just so daunting to play because the, to the community is so toxic. Yeah. Myself included. It is a tough game. I played Dota. That's the only mm. comparable game that I could yeah. say um, is in that vein. But, yeah. It's it's a very cool game, and I love what they do just with the outside, like all the the music that they come up with, and all the like. You showed me all those lol songs one time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, oh so my great. god, these are bangers. Why yeah. have I never heard these? Yeah, they're so 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 good. Um, That's Urgot. Urgot is terrifying. There you go. 
Someone says I should cosplay as Jesse. Jesse from. Oh, do they mean for you? I don't know. I don't what know. They're talking about. Who did you mean? Prince Leo. Uh, which I could wish I could watch Cinemax over and over. See, that's just going to say that they should probably make a show. Oh, of from a lot Control. Of these character. Oh, from Control. Ah, uh, yes. That's you then. I'm assuming. Well, that would be an easy one. It's just like a leather jacket and some jeans, and put my hair up. Maybe dye it a different color. Right here. You see in the cinematic. Galio shows up, who's freaking Ooh. amazing. Uh, just a giant, uh, like animated monolithic statue, who's got like a, like a British accent. He's hilarious. Ooh. You go. To, yeah, sorry. I, I, <laughs> no, this I love this stuff. game. I'm, I love the fandom. I Bring it the, on. It's so nerdy. <laughs> so so. And Ezreal's cool. Here. We're this probably is gonna finish Galio. this entire trailer Boom. during this entire chat. Massive. Wow. And she's just about to ult him, like point blank in the face. And then it cuts. Yeah. Oh man, perfect mm. timing. Anyway. Look at that. Um, so there you go, League of Legends, guys. Be sure to play it if you have a chance. Yeah. Just, just be wary of the- uh, The community. The community is a little bit Really special. toxic. Uh, all right, new- Special. <laughs> I don't know. How else would you describe it? Um, the new PlayStation 5 logo. What the heck happened there? Well, I mean, they couldn't change it. They just couldn't, because it's, it's got to be uniform. It's too iconic. Yeah, it's got to be uniform. I know. They're just going with the uniformity of the thing. Yeah, but I don't know. It. Like, Xbox ch it changes it every five years or something? I don't know. Yeah, but Xbox has no cohesive logic to their branding on their consoles. I know, but Xbox, that doesn't seem to affect them. Xbox 360, Xbox One. Yeah. What is the new one called? Uh, Xbox Series X. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know. Makes a That's lot of gonna sense. be a new thing. And it's uh, you can stand it or you can put it sideways, but it's very bulky. I don't know. I'm not a fan of it, but we'll see when it comes out. Uh, the Witcher series, um, what did you think? You, we watched the whole series. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I think I think it took me to the third episode. I don't even even know if we talked about this before the we holidays. Did. did we? We talked about the fact that a, 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 a reviewer, episode three, a viewer watched the in. first two episodes and then skipped to episode six. Right. And was like, life is too short to watch this stuff. Well, they were really silly. They were really uh, stupid. Uh, admitting to that, because <laughs> it's your job. It's literally your freaking job. Freaking your job. Yeah. You're freaking up your job. But That's I'm, why I swear now. I'm a big uh, Cavill fan. I yeah. think he nailed it. Like, I didn't feel like I was watching Henry Cavill play Geralt. I felt like I was watching Geralt. Mm -hmm. Like, it was so, so, so good. He's just really good, and the fact that he's really into the source material really shows. Yes. Uh, just he everything cares about, about it. it. He's not, and the he's sword not, fighting. He's taking it seriously. The sword fighting. I know, the sword fighting is really good in the show. Oh my it's god. It's worth watching, if not just for that. It's kind of like how Daredevil revolutionized the yes. know, fighting style in there, the way that they shot that. I think Witcher's doing a great job at trying something different with swords and nailing it. So. I, Watch just, it if not for. I could not relate to Geralt more when he was just raging about it. He couldn't sleep. He's like, I can't fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I just, Another swear jar. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to write up some IOUs, my friend. Okay. All right. Anyway. I'm, I'm gonna tear up a little piece of paper. You can write it out. Might as well just put Kyle owes twenty. Okay, I'll put twenty dollars. Perfect. Um, anything else? So we we covered everything, I think. I was just really excited to be oh. mad about Star Wars, and then I just blustered. No, you were wonderful. I think I you, all it. your points, all the points you made were. Impeccable. Thank I want to talk about uh, Irwin got us some cool gifts. Some no, cool Colin merch. did. Oh, sorry, Colin. My bad. Uh, Colin got us these. Which camera's better? This one? I don't know. You got to hold this it by one? our face. There you by go. Your face. Your face. Your face is in focus. Yeah. Yoda. We got some Baby Yoda merch. Woo! Yay, so we're going to put those on. Thank you so much, Colin. Anytime. Who gifted, uh, gifted us these uh, coming into our first show of 2020. Yeah, it was oh, the one yeah. I was wearing, but I took this my sweater off. This one's his. This one's mine. All right, guys, I think that about wraps up our discussion portion. Now we got the guest. Now we got our guest, Sam Whitwer, who's going to be joining us right after a quick break. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, joining us and uh, for just keep the chat coming, guys. We're going to do an IG story, uh, freaking IG. IG Live. IG Live, something or other. So uh, you guys should tune into that while uh, we play a quick recap of last week's show, last week's show, last year's Year. show, uh, with the completionist. So check that and out. And intro Sam, And right? don't go anywhere. Yeah, and then we're going to intro Sam. He'll be with us right after this. 